Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. The local bamboo industry is complaining today that it is not getting enough support from local investors. President of the Bamboo Industry Association of Jamaica, BIAJ, Robert Rainford, argues that the lack of financial support is making it harder to move into large-scale production. TVJ's Andrew Laidley reports. In recent times, the spotlight has been on the bamboo industry, and now I'm standing in one of the newest bamboo factories under the modern regime, where this location is expected to produce bamboo to supply the local market. Now, the industry is not quite there yet in terms of supplying the entire market, but stakeholders believe that more factories like this one could help to achieve that very goal. But while stakeholders wait on local investors to come forward, opportunities are passing by. We had an order for, for 12 million pounds of charcoal, and that would bring in 36 million US dollar. At today's exchange rate, is about 4 billion Jamaican dollars. And all we need was 100 million dollars to invest. We couldn't find any takers. What we need now is for capital. What we need is financial houses in Jamaica to come on board with us and to, to put their money where their mouth is to make sure that this new industry is developed. But it's not all bad. I want to commend the Factories Corporation because they have come on board and they have given us um, factory space at concessionary rate to, for bamboo production. And despite the challenges, Mr. Rainford says there are still plans to build out a large-scale production facility next year. The new industry to, to be a substitute for styrofoam, we expect that by the end of 2019, we should begin to have production. And so I expect that by 2020, we should be fully, fully rolled out in Jamaica in dealing with so many other products that we want from bamboo. The international um, fast food agencies in Jamaica are asking us about bamboo straw. At first, we will have to import some because we just can't manage the market while we develop our production capacity, which we are hoping that in short order we'll be able to do and they won't need to import any. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News. In currency trading, the U.S. dollar sold at its lowest rate in almost a year today. At the end of trading, the greenback was selling for $125.87. The Canadian dollar closed at $94.32. The pound sterling is now at $164.56, while the euro ended the day at $143.19. Now, oil prices traded higher today. Oil for delivery in April went up by $0.10 cents to settle at $56.87 a barrel. The JSE index gained 1,535 points today, while the junior market index is down by almost two points. Stocks posting gains include Cygnus Credit Investment U.S. shares, Medical Disposables and Supplies, Kingston Wharves, and Honeybun. Now on the losing side were Radio Jamaica, T-Tech, Everything Fresh, Mayberry Investments, and Pulse Investments. That's your business day. I'm Herman Green. Good evening.